Well, hello. Time for another Q&A. Number 50 this time. I said 50 last time, but it wasn't. So it's 50 this time. <laughs> okay. Uh, our first question today is Anne Mangum. I've seen you so, do so much. Uh, seriously, is there anything that you can't do? <laughs> I can't skate. <laughs> okay. Is there anything on your bucket list or Papa O's that y'all want to do? Uh, I did all my bucket things when I was single. Yeah, when he was single, before we met, he traveled all over the world and stuff, so. Bike trip across the United States, marathon runner. Mm -hmm. uh, traveled in 27 countries, stayed and worked, learned languages, and there's a lot more. Yeah, he's got 500 pages of his life story. <laughs> and I'm not done. And he's, not done he's not done yet. Because yeah. my life's still going on. I don't think of anything on my bucket list. Who, other than who has a bucket list? Get some... I think bucket lists are a little unrealistic. Like, oh, I want to do this before I die. And they, uh, they do. It, and so. they sometimes neglect things that they need to do right now That's in their true. life. Yeah, I'd like to get some more songs written and write some more books and stuff, but that you have to actually sit and do. And I'm going to be working on my songs, so I'll I'll let you guys know. I've, there's about five songs that I've got the choruses written to, and I've got to write the verses to, so we'll do that. Okay, let's go. Uh, so watch for my songs when they start coming up. Okay, Terry Allen. Mama O, do you listen to music or sing while running in the house? Oh, good question. You, you listen to, t uh, to talk top shows. shows. Yeah, I, I, um, yeah, I listen to talks, talk shows, and and stuff. And when I'm outside, I don't take anything with me. When I'm inside, I listen to talk shows, and when I'm outside, I, I just. I don't like listening to anything. I just like to to run and just listen, be aware of what's going on around me. And I I like just listening to my own thoughts. <laughs> Good. I love that. Write that yeah. down. You like that? Okay. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and uh, I just, I have the best conversations with myself when I'm out running. If I have a problem, I'll talk to myself. If I have a song, I'll, I'll even write a song. While I'm out running, I memorize when I, I was in a play once and I memorized my lines while I was out there. So I do make good use of my time while I'm out running. I, if I have a talk in church, I'll be practicing my talk and I don't know, I just have really... Or sometimes you watch conf church conferences. If I'm talks. inside. Yeah. If I'm inside. But if I'm outside, I don't. What do you, what do you do? I do have about 500 songs. Uh, that I've liked my whole life and I've got my own copy of them mm -hmm. and sometimes when I'm running or walking I will listen to them mm -hmm. on my little iPod. Uh, yeah and when I'm in a race or wanna go, when I want to go fast like in a race I will have a tune in my head uh, sometimes I'll pick out that Michael Jackson song, uh, Michael Jackson song that says, just beat it, and it's got a good beat, just beat it, and then I can do, and it gives me energy to, to finish that, uh, you know, get to the finish line, so if it, if there is a song, it is in my head. That's a good question. Okay, JD, a little bit of everything. I saw a good quote, thought you'd like it. Tell your spouse everything you love about them. Tell God the rest. I think we just said that one uh, on our last Q&A. Have you heard it before? And we haven't, but I did like that one, and we did use it on, I think it was our last, not our Q&A, but our, one of our, one of our um, vlogs. Okay, Wizzy Patterson. What school did you guys go to and university? Love you guys so much. Rosanne, you are so sweet. Thank you. That's, that's nice of you. Okay, I went to American Fork High School, and I did not go to university. Uh, what about you? Is your list too long? <laughs> He's thinking. No. He's thinking too hard. Mine was scattered out over a lot of years. Uh, quitting school, going around traveling, and but I ended up ended up getting a mas uh, getting a master's in French, mm -hmm. and then an associate's in a computer science, and uh, but. And that was the University of Utah. And the other one was community college? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I ended up te teaching there for 10 years when I came French. back. French. Teaching French? No, oh, I came in computer the, science. The, yeah. In business and computer science. Yeah. He loves to teach. Papa loves to teach. And he's very good at it. Okay. Uh, let's do one more. Okay. What do you think? Okay, Bonnie Barber, could you please tell me the name of your very first vlog? Actually, it's that one that we did years hmm. ago. That was your first one. Pollyanna? Which one was it? I've done Pollyanna, Roseanne Orgo, Grandma Storytime. No, it's not even posted yet, but remember I showed it to you and you... Oh, we we used to post stuff on uh, Vimeo, a lot of, on Vimeo. Um, we've been posting stuff for quite a few years, 20, 30 years. Uh, I can't think of which one it is. We'll have to uh, put some links to it. But um, I started Grandma Storytime back up because the grandkids want me to read stories to them. I'll post a link to that. And Papa O has a lot of archives in his. Mine go back. Vimeo. Mine go back. We started taking movies when the kids were just babies and I always bought cameras. And mm -hmm. uh, we have all of those. So we ended up with 35 DVDs of home movies that we took through the years. Yeah. And they're all on my uh, Papa O YouTube. We we have a ton on Vimeo. Maybe we'll start from the very beginning, back when the kids were little. I don't know. And maybe post one a week or something. But we all, have to transfer them into YouTube but almost from Vimeo. A, no, but all the ones on Vimeo I, we've put on YouTube. No. Not all of them. Yeah, There's a ton, yeah. yeah. There's a ton of them. Uh, about 10 years worth. <laughs> she says, uh, Bonnie says, she would like to start watching me from, us from the beginning. I'm pretty sure that she's, wa I've watched all of them, but I'd like to make sure. You've watched all of them on YouTube, but the ones on Vimeo, they go back 20 years, 30 years. We'll have to see how, if we can get, start getting those onto YouTube because they're really hard to find on Vimeo. I, uh, we didn't know where to put them, but Davey showed us about you showed us YouTube a couple of years ago, and so we started posting them on there. I want to. Should we do one more? I want to answer Kimberly Niven. Okay, go ahead. And uh, about Elouette. El okay, wait. You got to read her question first. A great vlog as usual. Where do you buy the Elouette? But I want to tell you first that the Elouette comes from the aloe plant. Uh, once I was working in a grocery store and a girl had bright red eczema and she was scratching like crazy. She went and a kid went and broke open the aloe plant mm -hmm. and the liquid inside rubbed it on her arms and the redness went away. Yeah. And I saw that myself happen. Yeah. And so it, it has some really healing mm -hmm. qualities for skin, uh, skin irritations. And, and, and I did... Put a, uh, I did tell her where to get, you know, a link to Alouette, and I'll put a link here for, or below to Alouette. So that's and the product name. It's the Aloe Plant, but the name of the company is Alouette. Alouette. And it got started because uh, uh, Cleopatra used to bathe in um, in the Aloe Plant gel, and oh, she's supposed to be the most beautiful woman of the world. But it's not. <laughs> it's not related to the song Alouette. Something Alouette. Not related to that. Okay, that's good. Well, it's spelled the same. Okay, <laughs> that's a French song, huh? <laughs> okay, okay. We'll go ahead and close with a couple of quotes here. We'll go read these two. Okay. All right. Do you want to be first? Do you want me sure, to? Sure, I will. Okay. Problems are not stop signs; they are guidelines. Good. Mm -hmm. That's good, huh? Yeah. Don't let your problems stop you. They're just heading you to where you you need to go. And. If you can dream it, you can do it. But I always like to add something on to, to that. You can dream about things that are not practical or that may take your whole half of your lifetime to achieve. Mm -hmm. And you sometimes you need things that can happen a little bit quicker. So be yeah. practical when you so dream. So Joe, he has his short-term goals and his long-term goals. And Well, in, actually, in, there was an assignment in elementary school and they... They wanted the kids to write down their long-term goals and mm, short-term goals. That's how you learned. But, but that, mm. uh, that applies for mm -hmm. adults also. It does. It does. And just remember that life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it.
Hmm. So there's the 10% of reality and the 90% of just reacting to stuff that's not even real. So, <laughs> okay, we like to thank you and uh, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. That was a fun Q&A. Keep them coming. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And were you going to say something else? I was going to uh -oh. say, have you told them about Zades? that just enjoy the ride, Grandma. Hey, here's what Joe was talking about. This is Zaid, and he says, Grandma, just enjoy the ride. And what were you doing when you did that? I was going, we were at Cherry Hills, and I was going down the, the slide. Water slide. Water slide, screaming the whole way, terrified, just not enjoying it. It was not fun. And he comes down, and he... he he comes we went down together sure, sure and I'm screaming the whole time and he says grandma just enjoy the ride and I thought well how cute that can apply to life that can apply to life I thought oh just enjoy the ride and it's sometimes it's hard you, you're on that <laughs> water slide or that roller coaster and you're screaming and you're so, just not having fun like that song biggest <laughs> biggest ball of twine they enjoyed the ride they're singing. Yeah, I don't think they know. Uh, okay. Weird Al. <laughs> uh, we we like like that song. But anyway, um, so uh, so this has been a good lesson for me. Was Grandma just enjoy the ride? <laughs> Thank you and good night, everybody. Good night. Say